<laughs> That's the introduction. I think I'm gonna have <laughs> episode <laughs> of the podcast. <laughs> anyway, so hello everyone. This is our Center Stage Promotion Podcast, where I'm sitting down with the cast of my play Center Stage, and we're gonna talk about the play and whatever other crap we want to talk about. So first, let's go around the table. And have everybody introduce yourselves. Maybe even say what character you're playing in the play. So, to my left, let's begin. Uh, hi, my name is James. Uh, I play Lewis. <laughs> I think that was what I was like <laughs> legally obligated to say. That is what I told you to say. So we can move on to the next person at the table. Which would be me. Yes. Hello, my name is Marissa, and I play Zelda. And Hey, I'm Kelsey and I play Amanda. Hey, my name is Eric Anthony Younglove and I play <laughs> Donnie. <laughs> Man, that's awesome. I Donnie just learned what your middle name is. <laughs> my name is Corey Davis Dillon and I play the sultry and wonderful Jonathan. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you all agree with me. So, okay. So, this is our podcast where we're going to talk about the play. But first, I figured we might as well start off by going around the table and just kind of seeing how we know one another. I know me because I was born me. And uh, that's pretty much how it ends. So, we'll pass off. It's the saddest we'll- thing I've ever heard. <laughs> I was born me, and that's how it ends. <laughs> I was born me and I will die I mean, No specific okay. thing we're going to talk about We're going to go around and say how we know each other So let's start with you James How do you know people here <laughs> Namely me because this podcast is about me Um <laughs> I Actually I, I met you a few times In passing At the local community college um, Did we meet in passing? Yeah Because you were in the improv class Right? No. Was Mark Hartman there? Not a class. I was in acting classes. Maybe. I I I remember. You probably come that. across me because I was in the acting circles. Right. You could say at ECC, but yes. mostly I took classes from Gray. Okay. I think I remember you. Like, I did not meet you uh, in the show we did mm-hmm. uh, last year. No, no, because we were in the same improv group. We were in social probation improv. Were you in that? Yes. Oh my god. You don't remember Sorry. me from that? <laughs> wow. So I remember you. Wow. Understandable. So that's where I know you from. So yeah. Corey answered that question for me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Corey. Excellent. Yep. Um, Young Love will come into my store every now and then and buy chips. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys didn't figure that out until After like a four week months ago. Until Maybe four months ago. Yeah. Before. You know. I'm, um, I'm married to Marissa. Barely. When we first got together to read the script, we were all like, Tell me you know another female actor, and about a month later is when we met Kelsey. (laughs) (laughs) Well, okay. I mean, like, well, I could explain that I did have, well, like, at first, that was, like, the most difficult thing was to find, like, another female actor that could fit into this play. But I did have somebody in mind, and at first she agreed and she was onto it, but then she, like, Moved and she had a whole bunch of different life going on, so she wasn't able to do it. And then I asked Kelsey because she was. I did make a list. I, did, I literally went through my Facebook friends. <laughs> <laughs> this is where you feel flattered. Yeah. And I was like, I was in his first pick. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Oh my we'll, God. Move, we'll move to the side and on to right, so Marissa. Marissa again. Um, Long Corey and I met. Through improv, of course, and we get to do work together, and it was awesome. And was, we were stage yeah. married, and then, am I right? I am real life married. Yeah. Which is interesting. They have no idea who's to your right. Yeah, you. Yo, James. You just said okay. that we're going right to left. You know yeah. what? No, don't doubt me. Don't doubt me. 
without me. You're uh, contractually okay. obligated to love me. And then flesh. at the start of this is when I met both Eric and Kelsey. Yeah. And I am super happy that I did. Actually, they are amazing people. Yes, yes they are. And I, and I, I, I told you earlier in the rehearsing phase is that we had acting classes together. And I was so in awe of you in every Aww. acting class that we had. I'm like, she's like a real actor. And she does like emotional awesome stuff. And it was so cool. And I was like trying to do, I don't know what I was trying to do. Okay. Well, well thank you, Marissa. If that's all you had to say. Yes. Wunderbar. On to you. All right. Kelsey. Well, Corey, you and I worked at Best Buy. Whoop, whoop. And I think the first interaction that we had was I kicked your butt and ran away. Was it? That? Yeah. That, like, okay. I need to hear more Best Buy stories. Did you say Best Buy or kindergarten? <laughs> <laughs> Same difference. Okay, first off, I don't specifically remember that, but that doesn't seem like it's a far-fetched thing. You were because, a standout like, cool person there. So, like, whenever I was there and we were working the same shift in Portable, it was it was pretty cool. I enjoyed it. And so that's why I was like, hey, she might enjoy acting <laughs> in my play. She's kind of weird enough to play along <laughs> with the wacky stuff that I did. So I asked you, and you were like, yeah, totally excited. And I was like, sweet. <laughs> Got another female, yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, but like I'm so glad that you came on to the project because this is like the first time you've done like anything acting wise, yeah, really. Yes, yeah. and time. you like I've I'm been chicken, so impressive. Like every time you come, you just always bring something mm -hmm. new and awesome, and it's sweet. Because I've been working with these other folk before, but you were an unknown entity. And you worked out splendidly. So I got a little bit of feeling about that when we were when we were rehearsing in yeah. the space the other on day. Thursday. The progress just blows any yeah. else out of the water. You worked so hard. There's people that is like they think they're pretty good with acting. It's like I've been doing. I acted in high school. Stand aside, exactly. you know. And they just they don't even get close in years of, of working on it because they think they're done to the progress yeah, that you've exactly. accomplished in the space of months. Yeah. And it's incredible. Yeah, like the rest of us have been in like classes and high school and college and all that stuff. And but... some of us remember them. <laughs> <laughs> a handful of us. I was us. a techie. Don't look at me. <laughs> yeah. Mm, mm, well, yeah. I feel like I learned a lot from watching you guys. So That's awesome. Yeah, kicking butt girls. The teachers. <laughs> <laughs> The check on my influence calendar <laughs> <laughs> and Corey's ego. <laughs> if I get 30 checks, I get a gold star. <laughs> and then I met everyone else after it's part of the to rehearse. That's it. Excellent. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you very much. And then on to you, sir. This is my first time meeting everybody in Fort I'm very scared. <laughs> <laughs> you just you sat me down. I did yeah, in front of this microphone, I was just out. I was trying to get pills. I'm homeless. For my <laughs> grandma. <laughs> no, I met Corey in high school. Mm -hmm. He was a senior and I was a freshman. Mm -hmm. uh, you ever seen the movie Grease? It's a lot like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. I remember uh, the first time that I met him, it was me, you, and Trevor Kravitz, another kid that we went to high school with. Mm -hmm. And he was like, what are you? And I was like, what do you mean? He was like, what, are you like Italian or whatever? And I was like, yeah, I'm Italian. He was like, uh, he was like all right, well, I'm Jewish and Corey's black, so we'll make fun of each other for that. Uh, welcome to Drama Club. <laughs> that was my first interaction. Oh, with my Corey. goodness. I got to witness firsthand a lot of the stuff that's in the play. Yeah. The references. Yeah, yeah. That, it, it was, I mean, yeah. I mean, obviously, if you can tell by now that my experience in high school was what influenced uh, this play. And if you were there, you are going to see a lot of things that you're like, oh, yeah, I remember that, and I remember mm. this and that. Oh, yeah, so, totally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. There's no character named Eric, though, which I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but, really. yeah. But, yeah, that's that's how we met. And, like, always, every time, you were, were guaranteed to make me laugh. Like, every time we were working together in a play or anything like that. Even mostly when we were just, like, you know, messing around. like Which was most of it. <laughs> Which was most of the time. Yeah. But, like, yeah, every every time working with you, it was awesome. So, when I got this chance, like, there was nobody else who was going to come first in regard. I would have had to go to the well if you would have been like, no, nah, I can't do it. But Thank you. I'm so glad you were over it would make it into it. Of course. So. Special shout out to the original Jonathan. Yes. 
our original Jonathan, Mr. Rizdera, who's got a life. <laughs> damn him. A damn him in his life and things Tony like that. Tony was intending to be this ego. No, <laughs> he didn't write these big monologues for himself to read. Rust again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And Dr. Dre said he's dead in my basement. Right? Um, <laughs> but yeah, no. So yeah, there's me who plays Jonathan, who, as I said, I've known myself since birth. Um, but yeah, I didn't intend for me to be in the actual play. I was just going to play the role of janitor, who is no longer in the actual physical production of the play. Um, but yeah, Rose wasn't able to make it. And then trying to track down somebody else who would have, like, the availability that everybody have would have been just another hassle in itself. So I'm just like, I'll fill in because I know my availability and I know I'll be able to be I there. I take time. this burden upon myself. And I guess I could uh, myself go into just kind of what the inspiration for the play is. So uh, actually, as we've mentioned before, um, James, Marissa, and I uh, were in a play last year together. Um by the man who could play Jonathan but could not play Jonathan. Um, and then I was in another play after that and just being in those two plays back in, back to back just made me think, hey, I can write my own play. And um, at the time I was working, well, I'm still technically employed there, but I was working at this uh, real estate place where literally all I do is sit behind a desk and enter numbers and click enter. And then enter more numbers and click enter. Um, so it's not a very tasking job. So what I just started doing is pulling up Word documents and writing while I was at work. And so I will apply. Play. I'm not sure if there's something that triggered it, but it was just something that I had in my mind that I wanted to write a love letter to my experience in high school theater which is exactly what this play is. And there's a lot of references to my time in theater, a lot of stuff that's almost like word for word out of my life <laughs> put in there but uh i mean it's obvious if you know me that uh my experience in theater means a lot and has made up a lot of who i am i'm currently a performance poet and then a lot of the performance element of that comes out of theater so uh so yeah so i ended up writing this play to kind of say thank you to high school theater and also just to put in a lot of jokes that make me laugh and I thought and I think I, I'm really funny but but yeah so um so how has everybody's experience been I, I think I think the show is got exactly as much rehearsal time as it needed I yeah think, like it's it's gonna be something worth watching absolutely <laughs> yeah so go thank you to watch it yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. <Sure. laughs> I, I feel the same way and I'm happy with the time that we've had I mean because like I mean not even just that uh, I think we've gotten the ample amount of rehearsal time that we needed because I do think that we did yeah. um, I mean because like I know every couple of weeks there might be somebody who can't make it or you know something so we, we can't get this off yeah exactly and yeah def definitely in the time that we started it was kind of like working out the you know the kinks in it and everything like that um, but just the time that we've had to just have fun you know, yeah. and just hang out and just make up really, really dumb so, jokes. Yeah. Have we ever had a rehearsal that we just went from beginning to end without <laughs> getting off track? The one at the stage, yeah. we were pretty good. Yeah, cool. well, I mean, we had, like, <laughs> we had some shot. Yeah. yeah, exactly, yeah. And then the, the night where, like, Kelsey just owned it. Yeah. Yeah. There, there, well, there's a lot of moments when Kelsey, like, comes on and because you and her have those, like, intense moments and everybody just kind of like shuts up and just like, like Kelsey, we're gonna do this. and it's and it's, it's awesome to kind of stand back and watch that but, uh, watch the magic happen. Was it last week? And we had that really good one. And I think like, it was last like week. Like Kelsey came on and she started to like Tear like leading up. the scene, and it's like, all right, yeah. all right, I will follow. <laughs> ma'am, like yes, ma'am. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a good feeling. Yeah. It, yeah, it, it was awesome just like seeing that happen and definitely knowing that you come from no acting background to see from, you know, zero to a hundred and it's just so cool to see. Yeah, having every other actor in the show just sort of like, be like hi, oh, Kelsey. <laughs> <laughs> ah, hi. <laughs> hey, James. <laughs> hey, James, you want to tell us how fun it is being in this play and having all those lines to say? 
Yeah. I mean, honestly, I only had to memorize the lines for one or two days. And then they stopped listening to me delivering all of them. So I've been just making them up every night since. So. And it is wonderful improv. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> it is the best thing that... I mean, like, I've given this note to the cast uh, several times, is that they do so well in this play that I forget that I wrote these words because they own them. And that is very fun. And it is... It's been a really good experience. I have, uh, it's been a long time since I've been more than a bit part in really something. And, uh, Corey's kind of really, uh, I think, I think you're proud of your writing, but I think your directing, uh, requires some props here because, uh, he's allowed us to have, uh, the space to kind of feel out our characters ourselves with also being like, no, I, this is what I'm seeing and yeah. being able to kind of be a bruiser when he has to. Oh, he can they bruise. <laughs> no, I mean, like there are obviously everybody kind of has their way of going about how they want to do things. But this, I never uh, came into doing this play to be a tyrant <laughs> and say, the words on here were gospel, and if you disobey those words, then you must set up. Um, <laughs> and we're not like blindly supportive either. We don't yeah. finish at the end of the night, turn to look for you for input, and hear, that, well, that was good. I, <laughs> and I will see you Thursday. Yeah. yeah. Good night. You know, that never happens, and that's such a relief. Even when you like it, we still get feedback, and yeah. that's vital, I think. Yeah. And like a lot of it is that just, I want a play. It typically, I think, shouldn't be the same way twice. That you should always have something that you can add to it. There should always be something that you can play around with to make it kind of more yours and give somebody... So if people come, you know, three times in a row, they're going to be like, hey, that was different. I like what you did that time. It was different from the last time I saw it. So a lot of times when I do give the, the, the feedback, it's either... There are some things that I have, like, a specific vision, and if you're just completely, like, gone from that vision, then I'm like, okay, let's kind of bring it more closer to what I was looking for. But most of it is just kind of notes that I think will help you understand the character better or understand what's going on in the play better, just to kind of enhance your experience as a performer mm -hmm. is what I try to do and adding into it. And sometimes there are things that I do where I'm just like, this would be pretty funny, so let's try it out. And then sometimes we try it out, and I'm like, hey, that was a dumb idea, so let's go back to what we were doing before. But... Raymond. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is a gem. <laughs> we're that, keeping it forever. Yep. No. You have no choice. That is not <laughs> that going joke's for Corey. anywhere. <laughs> that joke that's, that's is Corey's for joke. the people. <laughs> How about you, Marissa? Have you enjoyed this process? Well, I've liked it a lot. I mean, it's nice to get to do something um, that's comedic but also serious to a degree because I felt like I got about maybe five seconds of that in the last one. I tried mm -hmm. to make the five seconds count because I, I'm personally of the opinion that things are that are taken internally seriously can make something so much funnier yeah to an observer absolutely and those opportunities are golden and there are sad and serious moments and i like getting to play with that even with a character who is still overall a positive woman in a lot of ways a hopeful one mm -hmm. and seeing effects just over the course of a play what happens to her and her outlook so interesting to me because you know you might get a play that occurs over a three month arc you know internally and you might not get as much development for a part like Zelda but I get yeah. to have it in here it makes me really greedy like a fat kid hoarding Halloween candy I just want to <laughs> have it forever so yes this is fine yeah. that's awesome yeah like I could tell like with both you and James I felt like you guys were hungry for a good role and i was hope hoping that i could bring you guys a role that you could really dig into and really express your 
artistic talents. Like, so like I mean, get to grab his butt on stage. So I don't yeah, know. <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely no different from every other day. Of life. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm like this works out so well because then I don't have to manipulate two strangers into having affection for one another because it's already there. So yeah. I'm cheating, but the trick awesome. is to pry us apart. From uh, yeah, we'll see. Mm-hmm. How have you enjoyed this little <laughs> shindig process? Fun. Yeah. Survive <laughs> being exposed to us on a regular basis. <laughs> Seems that way. I've had a lot of fun. I mean, like I said, I never did anything like this in high school, so it was really nice to have that experience and stuff. And you guys are a really cool kind of people. So I feel awesome. lucky to have you guys in my life right now. Thank you. <laughs> oh, shucks. Yeah. So glad you're able to come on to this project because you definitely fit in very well. And it worked out awesome. Awesome. Something not about the play, but about the play experience that I really like. Yeah, so, Young Love. Again, terrible time. No, was yes. <laughs> I'm glad you're the one who hated time. One it one was... star would not recommend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was great. I really haven't acted since high school. So it was nice. I've been doing stand-up for a couple of years, so it was nice to actually work with other people and be a part of a group. So that's, I'm not so lonely anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no. I mean, like that's it's, it's also kind of like uh, with James and Marissa is that uh, I felt like, you know, when I posted like a picture of um, a couple of the lines from the play, just kind of congratulating myself on actually finishing a play, because a lot of times when I start something that's not a poem... I rarely finish it, um, so I was able to finish this, and I'm like, dude, you guys, I did something, and then you're like, dude, this is awesome, and I'm like, let's make you a part of this, son, let's bring you into the, the yeah, it was cool music. seeing one of my friends actually finish something that they said yeah. they were going to do, yeah. I was like, hey, my friend actually made something that's uh, finished, and a, and a complete uh, project, that's weird, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, it's, it's rare among a lot of people that I know. Yeah. But I get it. And then I was <laughs> like, I can actually make this a real thing because, you know, working with um, Connie, who owns the venue that we're going to be at, and she was just like, hey, if you want to do something, let's do something. I'm like, I've, I've got a script, and I think I have people who would like to do it, so let's, let's do it. And so we're doing it, and that's, that's pretty awesome. Really? <laughs> but yeah. Awesome to really put together uh, a play that is really cathartic and just has like a lot of like the good things and the bad things that came out of my life and just to make characters that allow me because a lot of it the what's in this play is me getting over really dumb things that have happened to me in the past and just kind of putting it in a way that is kind of I guess easier to you know process And also process it in a way that I enjoy. And then also having my friends come and bring to life these characters that really enact certain elements of my life that I both like and don't like. And it's just cool to see that be brought to life and become more than what I put on the page by all of you guys because you've all have had your own spin and if I were if I were to think about this in the way that I had written it on the page and kind of stayed to that strict line of this has to be what I wrote it would probably be terrible (laughs) It, it, it wouldn't be what it is now and what it is now is how I like it and how I think it should be and it's just been so much fun working with you guys seeing you guys bring my words to life and making me forget that they're my words so that i can just enjoy this as a play and performance in itself and not just something that i did uh, my favorite thing that's happened to me in a while is when we all busted out in bohemian rhapsody that was yes that was beautiful awesome. that was a wonderful night I, on the night that we recorded all of the stuff, and actually, it's funny. I should explain what the initial intention of <laughs> the video <laughs> for the center stage uh, promotion video. What I had is because there is a a prop in the play that's a drink entitled Emerald Hooch. So the idea was that we would all get together and we would all make her 
own version of emerald hooch and i would record us making them we would take a taste test and we would you know see whose was the Probably best all y'all suck and make sure you drink. <laughs> yeah so that video was initially going to be uh kind of a, a longer video where we all made drinks but it didn't turn out that way so that's what the intention of the video was was the if you've seen BS. it you know it didn't exactly yeah it, it didn't turn out that way but i like no. what we've got now if you haven't seen it it's it's pretty worth it yeah it's worth it you can see it um if you're listening to this you probably have me as a friend on facebook or you're a friend of my Corey discovery uh dillard page and it's on there if you're also uh i probably sent you a friend invite to the actual event of center stage it's on that page too and if not and you missed the bohemian rhapsody concert i'm so sorry oh yeah. that was wonderful It'll shout outs again shout outs to nicole who helped us in the whole recording mm -hmm. process oh, yeah, yeah. Who was a Such wonderful a great sport adjacent she was so sweet yeah, yeah yeah she was just she just came over to hang out with me we went to got portillo's then we hung out here and then i'm like my cast is coming over you can hang out too and then i made her work um but it worked out well, and she, she said she had fun. Yeah, mm -hmm. she's a wonderful person. And it was always good to have an extra vocalist, mm -hmm. performing queen. Yes, know? yes, it was excellent. But at the end of that night, we were all woozy and loopy and in wonderful places. And so <laughs> we busted out queen in an excellent, impromptu a cappella singing. Um, complete with guitar solos. Complete yeah. with guitar and solos. The part in the middle where we stopped for like twenty seconds to think of what happened next. Yeah, yeah. exactly. We we're just like, wait, what's going on? Or like, I think like people like were singing different oh, parts. We and like we're... The, yeah, we had the multiple vocal parts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we had it down. Yeah, yeah. We did it like, right before the happened. guitar solo. Like we. We're... Uh, oh, because we had to decide whether or not we were all gonna headbang because we were all wearing glasses because we're nerds, and then we did it anyway. Yep. But yeah, that was amazing. I've, I've I've done impromptu Bohemian Rhapsody things before. That's so organic. But that was yeah, <laughs> that one just like happened. yeah, no, the, but like the, yeah, this one just happened. The other times it's uh, I was at a college party and somebody put on the song and then everybody rocked out to it. The right. Song what wasn't even it? on. This is awkward. Yeah, song. no. This somebody was asked just... if it was real life and it just yeah. Right, there. We walked easy. into another room to pack up our stuff and then we just never really stopped and it built into yeah mm -hmm. this beautiful monstrosity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it was James who was all loopy and he was like, "Is this real life?" And I think nice. Nicole chimed in. Was like it's just fantasy. Caught in the landslide. Beautiful. Center stage. Center stage. Good Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. So so that's center stage. Um. It is being performed at my stage, or also known as the Marquee Youth Theater, in Charlestown Mall, April 18th at 7 p.m. and April 19th at 4 p.m. and 7 p.m. I would like to thank my cast, James, Marissa, Kelsey, Eric, Hi. Corey. <laughs> Woo, Corey! <laughs> I love that guy. He's the best. That's gonna be my ringtone. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you guys for listening. Uh, please come out and see the play. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye.